Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So the time has finally come to build Cinder's house, or well, not necessarily full-on build, but kind of renovate this area. So you guys watched last episode of Not So Berry. Um, I showed you guys the house that I was planning to kind of like renovate or redo. I mean, I did kind of redo this house a little bit, not much like on the exterior side. I just added some things here and there, but other than that, it's pretty much the same build but I personally like this version better. And it's because, well, I need to fit five bedrooms because Cinder is gonna be having four kids and she needs a room for herself as well. So it was kind of um, a little bit complicated as in trying to find out like where I wanted to put what rooms because the house originally only has, I think, three bedrooms and two bathrooms, which I mean is pretty good already for a house like this. Um, it is like already quite large, but I needed to make it a little bit bigger. So um, I ended up, you know, uh, changing like the balcony out there um, into a smaller one. And originally the house didn't even use that balcony. It was just there. So then I ended up making two balconies. So like this house is just getting double everything and more. Uh, although I did only still keep two bathrooms because I really didn't know where else to put other bathrooms. So, you know, hopefully it doesn't get too crazy in the house. I mean, we've had... No, because I think... Yellow Jen, I think uh, Sunny only had two bathrooms in her house, and she had four kids. No, I mean, it should be fine. It should be fine. Uh, I'm not really worried about that. <laughs> so the style of this house is technically supposed to be kind of industrial, but here's the thing. is like, I don't really know. Like, I t tried to do my research on industrial houses, and like, they look awesome. They look so cool. I love the industrial feel and everything, but then I just kind of decorated it not very industrial i mean i don't at least i don't think so i don't know i feel like there's a bit of like modern and other styles mixed into it which kind of bothers me but not really because it like looks okay you know um so i guess we could just say that the style of the house is industrial itself but like the inner parts aren't as much which i guess is okay so i'm not necessarily as bothered as i thought i'd be um and for the first time i'm using all like the kitchen uh no wait, what is it called cool kitchen stuff uh cabinets because i very rarely use them actually i don't even think i actually have ever used them in like a build or anything in the, in the past i don't think so maybe the cabinets but not so much the counters themselves they are like decent counters they aren't like my favorite ones um, but I wanted to change it up and kind of start using things that I don't normally use. Um, but yeah, I mean, I personally am happy with like the layout that I have because I was first off worried that it was going to be too open because sometimes an open floor plan kind of makes things awkward where to place things. So, um, I don't know. I think I like figured out like a good place to put everything and then I remembered that for Grey Generation you're supposed to kind of have a movie night every Sunday with your sims so I ended up getting them like a large tv and then we obviously have a lot of um couch space so that they can you know sit and enjoy their movies and in the kitchen later on I de decorated it because I kind of just made it plain first so I could just get through it and then I ended up putting a popcorn machine in there, which you know what, I kind of wish we had a popcorn machine that kind of is like, like the, like the, not, what's the word, not vintage, or like maybe like antique kind of looking one, like the one that's like on a cart, and like it's on wheels, and like you put like the popcorn in there, and like it pops in that thing, I don't know, I've, I've only seen them like ever, like a couple times in my lifetime, but I think that would have been really cool to have, instead of just like a little like, machine thing that pops your popcorn. I just really wanted to have like a snack kind of area because I think I added an ice cream machine as well so uh, I can't wait to like have those days and I'm definitely going to start adding those into the calendar but I haven't really done movie night yet because Iris is only a baby. Well not a baby, she's a toddler but I feel like I want to wait until she's like a child to start doing movie nights um, and Cinder's going to be giving birth to her second child very shortly which I can't wait to see what it is. Uh, the only problem I had with this house, because I was going to leave the rooms empty, but then I thought that people might be downloading the houses. Uh, so I was like, I'll just fill them up and, and they can just do whatever. So um, I ended up doing every bedroom like a toddler style bedroom because obviously once they have a baby, the toddler's going to move into, or the baby's going to move into that specific room. Uh, so they're all very like purple. Um, again, the, the color for Gen 5, yeah, Gen 5 is plum, but... I'm just gonna do purple because plum is like such a specific color 
that I don't want to, it's, it's hard to get everything plum, you know? So I feel like doing purple in general I think is fine. Um, I, I don't think there's a problem with that. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I've mentioned that a couple times. I just don't know for anybody who's watching this and hasn't seen my not so very challenge and they're just like, that's not plum. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so there's like some purple also incorporated within the house because I noticed that like, for example, there is a cabinet in the bathroom. I think on the bathroom in the bottom floor, there's a cabinet in there that has like purple towels. So I thought that was cute. So after a while of like decorating like all the toddlers bedrooms, because I had to decorate four toddler bedrooms, I wanted to make them like all a little bit different. But then in the end, they kind of ended up looking very similar. And I, ha I feel like I had the most problems with the second toddler bedroom that I was working on downstairs because I personally don't like working in houses that have super high ceilings because I feel like it's just so much space that I'm not covering with stuff and it's just the walls feel so empty like this room is pretty full but then the next room that we're going to be working on it seems so empty like when I was going and taking screenshots at the end this room is specifically when I went back and like started taking screenshots, it felt so plain. Like I'm just like, I should have maybe done, okay, motorcycle, love you. Um, <laughs> I feel like I should have done an accent wall with like more uh, decorations or something. Cause like, if you look at the first bedroom we were working on, it had like all like those sparkly things on them or whatever. And it looked better, but the wall seems so much more plain here, which I feel like that was my mistake. Uh, I probably might go back and fix it later on, but I'm not going to be too fussy about it right now because it's not really, like, the biggest deal. Uh, but, I mean, I still tried to fit a lot of stuff in there just to kind of fill up the spaces. And then, oh, yeah, moving on to Cinder's bedroom. So, I originally kind of wanted to do, like, a walk-in closet because I've never really done, like, a walk-in closet in The Sims and that obviously didn't end up happening because I didn't find like a proper area that I wanted to do it in. Although, now that I think about it, outside in the hallway, like right outside Cinder's bedroom, there is a closet there that I put because I was trying to fill up the area um, upstairs like in like the hallway thing because it, I really love the way that that was made. Uh, it just reminds me of like a house that I've been in like a few years back and it just looks really cool but the barriers instead of being like the fences that I put, they would be just like all glass and it looked so cool. Uh, but that's beside the point. Um, I should have maybe made like a walk-in closet there now that I think about it because it's still like, I mean, it's a pretty small space, but I feel like it would have looked cool if I did that there. But you know what? It's done. I mean, I can always fix it if I wanted to, but I'm not really that bothered. Uh, oh yeah, this bathroom I feel like is my favorite bathroom because I like that uh, I added the washing and drying machine into the bathroom, which I've done, I don't think I've done it in any videos that I've recorded, but I've done it in houses that I've um, like played off camera. And it's really only in the bathroom because I completely forgot that I wanted to have a washing and drying room and I didn't know where else to put it, so I was just like, I'm just gonna stick it in the bathroom. It kind of makes sense, because I know that there's houses that sometimes have them in the bathroom. Actually, I don't think I've ever been in a house that has a washing and drying machine in their bathroom. Does anybody have a washing and drying machine in their bathroom? If you do, let me know in the comments, but I feel like most people have it like in a basement. Actually, now come to think of it, I have been in houses that have washing and drying dryers in the bathroom, because when I was in Poland, a lot of my family members have them in their bathroom, especially my grandmother. My grandmother has like a really tiny washer, but she has to dry it like outside. Um, I don't think actually, I've never really seen a dryer in a house. I think I've seen, the, most of the people that I would go to their houses, it would always, they'd always use a drying rack instead. Uh, and I think also in England, a lot of people have a washer. I don't know about dryer, but I know they have a washer like in their kitchen. I don't know if that's like everybody, but I know, I think, I think one of my friends or two of my friends Maybe one of my friends, I know that she has a washer in her house. So I don't know um, how, you know, that goes in different places. But let me know in the comments, like, where is your washer and dryer? Is it in the bathroom, in the basement, in your kitchen? Uh, I'm really interested. I don't know. It's like a weird thing to ask. But like, let me know. Like, where is yours? Uh, <laughs> that's so weird. Oh, yeah. Also, I wanted to mention is that the exterior of the house um, in the video doesn't look the same as the exterior in the, of the house 
on the thumbnail because, well, I went back and kind of, I really did, wasn't feeling how plain the house kind of looked and I really wanted to add a lot more greenery and as you guys know, I love adding like plants and greens and everything like around the house because it just like, I feel like it makes the house more lively and it looks so much better. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much all I have for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoy the screenshots and I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye guys.